Good day, drag racing fans. How you doing? Or let me say it how they say it here in Australia. Good day, mates, and welcome to the biggest drag race in Australia. It is the 52nd annual Gulf Western Oil Winter Nationals. It's an awesome event. It's jam-packed. It's exciting. It is the culmination of what has been a really epic season. And all eyes have been on the incredibly tight top bike or top fuel motorcycle battle, as we say in America, between veterans Jay Upton and Chris Matheson. One round of qualifying was got in on Saturday, then the rain moved in, and it sets up a big one. Rated by only three points. Somebody's leaving with their sixth career championship and possibly the first ever five second motorcycle run in Australia. It's gonna be wild. A lot of history here at Willow Bank. As you can see, the fan turnout is immense and they are ready for a jam-packed Sunday after two days of rain. Early in the morning, but fans already packing in. Look at the cool grass hill seating area. How about the Jumbotron back in the snack bar area? What a great idea that is. The jet dryer is out. It was waterlogged the past few days, but the forecast is great today. And these competitors are ready to go after a lot of racing that has to be run today. Take a look now at the Nitro Voodoo machine of Chris Matheson. And of course the ultra unique full bodied machine of Jay Upton. I wanna know in the comments guys, who do you got? Who's winning this championship? Will it be Jay Upton? Will it be Chris Matheson? Two great rivals that are producing an epic story here on cycledrag.com. Look at that motor that Chris developed all by himself. That is a one of a kind top fuel motorcycle motor. It is Championship Sunday. The sun is out here at Willow Bank near Brisbane, Australia. And there is the man looking for his sixth top fuel motorcycle championship, or excuse me, top bike, as they call it over here in Australia. Same Mr. M Mr. Matheson, how you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. The sun's out, so we've got half a chance of having a good go today. So totally different day, totally different conditions. The track's gone off overnight, it's wet. So they're out there trying to dry it. So it'll be interesting the first one. What's going to be the key to winning this championship today? Get down the track. Um, I think this first one will be, we'll have to go a bit soft, uh, try and get into the field because they've cancelled yesterday's qualifying. Uh, so we'll, we'll need to be a little bit conservative to get in, but enough to be at the pointy end. And then we'll just have to see how it plays out uh, over the next couple of rounds. Good luck to you. As you can see, clutch change going on right now. This crew hard at work, hoping today brings them championship number six. There you go. <laughs> uh, good morning, gentlemen. It's championship Sunday here. We got the veteran Jay Upton. How you feeling, Jay? Fantastic. The sun's finally out, huh? The sun's out. I'm soaking up the vitamin D. Had a big feed this morning that last, going to last me all day. Sufficient horsepower to make it to the end. There you go. You're three points behind. You got an opportunity to win a sixth championship today. What's it going to take? It's going to take us to be on our game all day. That's what it takes. Any one person in the show makes a little mistake, that's, it's over. That's right. You know, that's how sudden death drag racing is. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> racing in America taught me one thing. What's that? you left for anything you're done that's right yeah, that's basically how it is. well good luck to you today as Thank you. jay upton tries to stay full throttle and this team looks for championship number six on this beautiful machine guys who you got matheson or jay upton all right, we are here at Willow Bank with the entire broadcast team. You guys are doing such a wonderful job. I want to introduce each and every one of you real quick. You're doing a great job. What's your name, sir? I'm Rob Abeg. Excellent. How about you? Matty Kavanaugh. Perfect. Terry Dale. Excellent. Hey, Chris Osley. Awesome. Mark Allen. Rusty Gregory. Now, I'm astounded. You guys are keeping the fans entertained. You're walking through the pits. There's jumbotrons everywhere. You guys are doing a great job. Tell me a little bit, somebody, about what it's like to be a part of this awesome event. Well, this is the biggest event in Australia. It's the biggest event outside the USA. Uh, so with over 500 teams, four days of racing, uh, there's a lot of action to get in. We roster it pretty well. We have people looking after particular categories of racing and we do a lot of roving stuff. So we've got somebody at the bottom of the braking area when the winners uh, celebrate. We have people following it in the pits and uh, we try and get our uh, start line interviews for the crew chiefs. 
and it's not easy when you get two days of rain and now you got to cram it into championship sunday we do that over in the states huh <laughs> yeah well shit happens everywhere around the world <laughs> and uh, it happens here as well so uh we did 28 years with this event without rain 28 consecutive years but uh somewhere along the line things have changed a little bit and we've had a bit of damp stuff over the last uh, last couple of events well you guys are doing a great job last question put everybody on the spot who's winning the top bike championship jay upton or Chris Matheson? Yes. One of those. Well, <laughs> if you had to pick, who's gonna who's walking away with the title? Three points separates these guys. Uh, I think Matho. How about you? I'll go Jay Upton. Jay Upton, okay. Oh, uh, Matho. Matho? Yeah, Jay Upton. How about that? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fence sitter. Oh, you, <laughs> uh, Switzerland. I'm gonna talk to these guys in the pits. I'm not. I'm not making a call at all. I'm he's, leaving he's it up to you Jay. guys. And to be honest. I wouldn't mind Gavin Spann come from the clouds and pull one off yeah, anyway. You never know. That's why you got to love nitro racing. Well, any any chance we see a five-second run today? How about that? Yeah. 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 Willow Bank can hold one? Yeah. yeah. Guys, thanks so much. Looking forward to hearing from you today. Anything you'd like to add? Thanks uh, for coming out. Thank you. Yeah, cool work, Guys in the States, get over here. No doubt. Absolutely. We hope you can come join us someday as well. Thanks a lot for all your hard work. Thank you. See you, man well staffed in the announce department those guys do a great job they really entertained the fans and let's take you back to yesterday this was qualifying and the question was who would strike first in top bike now something to keep in mind for all of my top fuel motorcycle fans the tracks over here are much different it's a very bumpy shutdown area track prep is not quite the same i truly believe Chris Matheson or Jay Upton would go right into the fives in Valdosta, Georgia, or Buds Creek, Maryland, or one of our tracks. So when you see those numbers, keep that in mind. Nothing would mean more to Chris Matheson than to be the first to run in the five-second zone in Australia. And the same holds true for Jay Upton. Chris Matheson has said he would like to come over and compete in the States, but not until he gets that five-second time slip. This weekend, he's got an opportunity to walk away with the championship and a five. Look at this packed house. You can see the weather was much different. It reminded me of some good old fashioned Pennsylvania weather that I'm used to over in the States. And Chris Matheson's bike sounded strong. Little history on Matheson's bike. That used to be the Hulk bike, Jimmy Brantley. It was the second motorcycle ever to reach the five second zone. Matheson has since suffered a crash. So unfortunately, a lot of the parts have been changed out, but it is still the same back half that Jimmy Brantley rode to an AMA, AMA Pro Star Championship way back when. As for Jay Upton, an accomplished and talented veteran of the sport, another creative engineer, can't miss his bike at all. It's the only top fuel motorcycle that has a one-piece body. Jay's done a lot of work on aerodynamics. Again, guys, this is yesterday. Let's let you enjoy the sounds of top fuel motorcycle. Caught up on the tire and off the line, it paddled a bit and spun the tire. He had to get off it and get back on it again. Thought it would have held, held better on the track there. The track feels pretty good now, but still. Hopefully, you get one more today. Yeah, good luck. Let's see in the comments, who do you got? Who's going to win this thing? Stay locked to Cycle Drag on YouTube, cycledrag.com on Facebook. We'll keep you updated.